introduction the subject of mathematics is important as a prerequisite and requirement as most topic in engineering courses it is the it's also the background of every engineering field it has helped engineering develop without it uh, engineering cannot involve so fast we can see today so the purpose of this project is to show some application of mathematics to various engineering fields so uh, the application discussed do not need advanced mathematics so they can be understood easily the problems is the in the this paper has been solved uh, for the problem statement there are a number of bin diffraction equations that can be used to determine basic value for diffraction in various types of beams in general diffraction is calculated by dividing the double integral of the Van de Boomen equation by the product of E and I. For example, Yang modulus and moment of inertia. The unit reflection or displacement is a length unit which is usually measured in millimeter. This value specifies how far the beam can be deflected from its original. The objective of this project is first to exhibit some application of mathematics to various fields of civil engineering. Second, to examine the relevant application of engineering mathematics to civil engineering areas. And the last one, to understand and analyze this mathematical in civil engineering area are important to find a problem. Method Methodology The chapter describes the method and the calculation used in the solving problem as stated in the problem statement. D is the intent to the explain how the study was conducted and to obtain the accurate information. By using the Macaulay and the double integral method. Macaulay method the double the double integration method is a technique used in structural analysis to determine the deflection of the Euler Bernoulli beam. Second is a mathematic specifically multivariable calculus. A multiplayer integral is a definite integral of the function of several real variables, for instance, f, as it y, or f. S Y Z. By doing the research, the second method used in this project is the doing research. Doing research requires a step by step process to collect piece of information to complete this task. Adding additional material, identifying related information, and doing some revision for the chapter involved in the task. Uh, some of the research we did. Information on the Mugulli and the double integral can be obtained by studying reference, book, journal, and article. My name is Muhammad Zuhairi B. Muhammad Yusuf, and my matrix number is CF210291. And now we present about calculation. A beam with a total length of 4 meters supported by pin support at A and roller support at B has point load with 20 kN load with 1 meter from pin support at point A. And the beam also has 2 meter length of uniform distributed load UDL from point B with load of 10 kN per meter. Determine the beam deflection at point where the UDL start. The beam has EI equal to 4000 kN per meter. And the picture below is show the length of beam and where the load happened. To find the beam deflection, there are six steps. The first step is draw the elastic curve and show boundary. As shown in picture number one, 
the boundary happen at A and B. And then find reaction at each of support. As shown in page number two, reaction is found for each support A and B. And reaction at, at AY equal to 20 kN at, and at BY is equal to 20 kN. The third step is apply section cut method. Section cut method is applied to find the equation that will be used to find the deflection, which is ms equal to 20s minus 20 times s, s minus by 1 minus 5 times s minus by 2, power of 2. And then apply elastic curve theory. In this elastic curve theory, we use double integral method, which is ei d square y divided by ds square equal to m, and then ei dy from that we integrate uh, d, d to y ds square into dy dx, and then from dy dx we integrate to find the y. y is the deflection. And from each of the each of uh, integration, we have a new equation. Like in equation one, we have twenty s power of two minus uh, divided by two plus c minus twenty divided by two s minus one power of two minus five divided by three s minus two power of three. And for equation two, we have ten x power of 3 minus 3 uh, divide by 3 plus c1x plus c2 minus 10 divide by 3 times x minus 1 power of 3 minus 5 divide by 12 times x minus 2 power of 4 And then the fifth step, we must find C1 and C2 value. And we use uh, equation 2. And after that, after finding the C1 and C2, using C1 and C2, we will find the YD, which is the deflection at point D. After that, we must find the maximum deflection at step number 6. From the equation, and from the equation, we know that the, the deflection at point D is 8.746 mm and the maximum deflection is 8.75 mm. Thank you. For conclusion, as earlier, we have stated the core importance of mathematics to engineering as most of engineering is fundamental contain mathematics. With mathematics adding the development of engineering, we can say this is one of the core of engineering. Problem regarding designing construction components like beam needed multiple integral equations to be applied to them as one of many ways to resolve it. For example, calculation deflection of beam, they are crucial part of but to make sure suitable load apply on the beam. In this project, we have carried out method of solving the problem regarding beam deflection, which is the Macaulay and double integral method by doing research and calculation.